So welcome back to the shop, everybody. My name is Andrew, and you're watching the Kelly's Country Life. If this is your first time visiting the channel, we post weekly videos. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. All right, so this is a project I have really been looking forward to. Actually, I've had this project in my head for about two to three years now, and I'm finally taking the time to do it. So the reason is I had a company called FXT reach out to me and they make really nice backup cameras, not like the junk you see at the big box stores. And that's kind of the reason I haven't done this project in so long. The last time I was looking for monitors and backup cameras, the stuff, the reviews were horrible, this stuff looked cheap and I just didn't make the time. So real quick, we'll unbox this and I, we're gonna go over to the tractor and do an awesome project. All right, so FXT makes a whole bunch of different kinds of really nice monitors in really good quality. I mean, they feel like good quality. We're gonna find out. Uh, wireless backup cameras. Now, when I say wireless, you still have to provide power to them, but for the example of if you want to put a rear one on the rear of the vehicle, front of a vehicle, they have these um, with license plate holders, all different kinds of cameras. They have some that you can put on the back side of campers. Now, if you tow a camper a lot, you have a horrible blind spot. That would be awesome to mount one up high where you typically have a running light. You can power these cameras off of the running light and from the front view of your vehicle, you don't have to run a cable or nothing all the way up there to this monitor. Now you can look and see what's behind you as you're backing up or as you're driving down the road, you can see that blind spot. The other cool thing about these and something that I never found in the past is, the one I have, for example, you can run two cameras at the same time. You can put one in the front, one in the rear. You can put them anywhere you want. So there's multiple uses for this, from trailers to campers to farm equipment like we're doing today. Sky's the limit. Do whatever you want with them. So let's take a quick look at the camera here. This is what I'm impressed with. These things feel amazing. And again, they make them with license plate holders. You can get different style cameras. That is coated metal, they're extremely heavy, none of that cheap plastic stuff like I've seen at Walmart and other stores for really cheap wireless backup cameras, and a little cable here with all your connections. And you just hook this up to power. Again, on the back side of the vehicle, hook it up to your reverse light if you just want it for reverse. Any of your lights on the rear, we're probably gonna power it off the lights on the tractor today so I don't have to run extra switches, power cables, nothing like that. Flip lights on and I have power to my cameras. By the way, you're gonna notice me sweat a lot today. 112 degrees on the heat index here. It is miserable hot. By the way, these cameras also have IR in them so they can see at nighttime. But I love, love, love the ability to run two cameras off of one monitor. And here's a little mounting bracket. So it looks like there's a couple different types of mounting options, suction cup, another mount here. We'll get all that figured out. But this system is designed to be, looks like somewhat movable. So you can hardwire the system or use regular cigarette lighter type plugins right here. So yeah, you can actually move this from vehicle to vehicle if you wanted to. I'd imagine all you have to do is pick up a few different cables and you can unplug. All right, so probably the biggest gripe that I have with tractors is the hood and using my most common attachment, tractor forks. I'm always picking up pallets, moving things around the property, picking up logs, all kinds of stuff. I use my forks constantly. And the problem is I can't see the tips of the forks from the tractor without standing up off of the seat, which makes the tractor no longer wanna drive due to safety features. So you all the time are stabbing the tips of these forks in the ground into what you're trying to pick up. It's, it's very hard to see. And that's because the larger the tractor you get, the bigger the engine, the bigger the hood, and you don't want to sit up ridiculously high in a tractor. They all have to stay within certain height requirements. Now, my last tractor was a smaller tractor, and I could see around the hood a little easier, and it's going to vary by tractor to tractor, the size, you name it. But trying to see forks that are all the way down here sticking out from back in here, you can see a lot of stuff gets in the way. So I'm thinking I'm going to either mount the camera up here or all the way up there underneath the hood. I really like the, uh, the look of doing that underneath that visor is what I should call it. But I have to make sure that it's not such a wide field of view that it can't see the tips of the forks down here. The other thing that I wanna do and what got me really excited about this system is the fact that it can run two cameras simultaneously. 
I want one on the rear. Looking at my equipment, you'd be surprised. I got a little mirror up in there, but again, there's so much going on in the tractor. You can't see a whole lot behind you. And sitting there, turn around, looking all day, gets a bit, a bit aggravating. Plus, it takes your eyes off of where you're going, you're zigzagging. If you're planning or doing things like that, you want perfectly straight rows. So if I can have a camera back here that's watching my equipment so I can make adjustments on the fly from mowing to disking and tilling the ground, I think that'd be amazing as well. And what I'm thinking I wanna do is mount this screen right up here on this nice flat portion of the dash. I don't think it'll be in my way too terribly bad. I can still see a good clear view out the glass up here and my eyes are naturally looking this way and then I can just look right down to this monitor which shows me the rear, shows me the front or I can turn it completely off. So I'm really excited about this project. Like I said, I've had this in my mind for years because while well, I have, I've had tractors for a long period of time and they're amazing machines. We couldn't own this 50 acres without one, but they do have a few drawbacks. So I'm in the setup process right now and just testing to see where I want to mount everything. I've got the camera up there close to the position where I think I'm going to mount it right underneath. And I have powered it off of the plugs of this light because I know this is all a 12 volt system. The camera also comes with a 12 volt plug that I have plugged in here, so I can test everything. So let's power this on and turn the lights on. And just that quick, we have a camera. And I don't know how well the GoPro is showing this, but the clarity is excellent. I'm actually going to turn the brightness down a little. You can flip-flop the image because right now it is reversed but what's important what I'm looking at I was afraid this camera up here was going to be too far away but I can clearly see out front where the tips of the forks will be and I think I do want to mount the camera up there my other option was on the front grill of the tractor up here and I was just concerned about that getting torn off with limbs and vines and other things and it won't have as good of a view I need to be up and looking down toward those tractor forks So here we are. Now I do see some flicker on the camera because I'm looking through the screen on it, but this is perfect. I don't know if that's gonna show up in the recording or not. It's because the frame rate of this is not matching whatever's going on here. But this looks crystal clear in person. Now typically you would have the antennas all the way up, but because my cameras are so close, I'm not looking. I still have absolutely full signal, which you can see. And by the way, these cameras claim like 1600 feet clear line of sight transmission obviously that's going to change if you put them on the back side of a trailer uh, back side of a camper things like that but they are actually designed to go on back sides of campers but that is a tremendous range um just didn't really have a convenient way to test that but i can tell you one back here on the back side of the tractor and right there as you would expect i am showing a full five bars of signal on the screen also this records. I can hit the OK button right here and you see record flashing up here. I put, there's the SD card symbol, put an SD card into this and I think it'll take up to a 128 gig card because I know a lot of people like using these to record when out on the road. So I'm going to do a little recording on this, show it hooking up. Let's go pick up the forks, go down, try to pick something up that I know, like for example, my firewood totes. I cannot see the tips of the forks. I'm constantly up in my seat doing this number right here. And now the camera is at the eye level where I have to pick up. So I'm hoping we get a clearer line of sight now. And instead of me 
getting up like this and again when I get off the seat the tractor will no longer move it thinks the operator has fell off now we can avoid all that plus you see I'm running split screen right now you can run one screen the other or both and looking inside of this menu it looks like it'll do up to four cameras if you really need to get them out everywhere else although I would probably want a bigger screen than the seven inch that I currently have but it looks to be a perfect size for two cameras all right, so I'm gonna turn this over to the single front screen. There it is. And let's go pull over to the forks that are up here and see what this looks like. Go ahead and hit record on this and hopefully I can get that on the video itself. Now I can see just fine on how to hook up to the forks. It's just the very tips of them that I constantly struggle with. All right, so depending on how I tilt the forks, it's very easy to see those. And I can always move this camera, but I think it's gonna work out pretty good right where it's at. So let's go down to my little wood yard see if we can pick something up so here's the thing right now I'm going to show what the camera is recording look it looks like you can see about eight to ten inches of the ends of the forks however sitting in the cab right now let me show you all my view I can't see the forks at all so the camera's already given me that much more visual than I can get right here in the seat So this is my view right now. I can't see a fork to save my life. But if I look down here on the screen, I can see a lot of the forks. All right, now if I need to look behind me, there's a full screen there. Forward, or we can go to split screen. Let's go back to forward. You can also change the brightness settings. There's a dimmer on it, so if it's too bright at nighttime, you can adjust all that. You can adjust the color, and I'll play with all that a little bit later. So let's go to this firewood tote right here. See, already in the cab, I cannot see the ends of my forks. All right, so you can see the camera is at head height right here. This is my view. I'll even hold the camera up. Look, you can't see the forks, you can't see the bottom of the basket, nothing. Very inconvenient. However, if we go to this, which I'm about to throw up on the screen, look, I can see a couple feet of the forks over the end of the hood, and I can see underneath the toad itself right where to put the forks. That is awesome. That is so what I was looking for. So judging depth perception on the screen is going to take a little bit of time, but look at there. I got it right underneath. Much bigger field of view off of this camera than I can get with my own eyes in here. And I never had to get out of the seat once. So we'll go put this right back. All right, excellent. For the first time in years, I now have clear line of sight for the tips of forks from my tractor. No more fooling around. I wish I had done this a long time ago, but I guess it worked out. Now I've got an awesome screen with what appears to be good quality cameras, and I can run two cameras. All the other cheap systems I've looked at in the past before, a single little license plate camera, just really cheap stuff. Like I said, I keep thinking of the ones I looked at at Walmart and a few other places. Just junk. All right, so now what I'm going to do is head over to the pole barn. I'm going to hook up to the mower for the back side of the tractor and uh, 
I'm gonna go out and just start mowing some strips and then I can watch on the camera to see exactly if I miss anything. I don't have to sit here and do all this turning around and looking or using this tiny rear view mirror, but it'd be nice to be able to look right there in the camera itself anytime I wanna flip it on you know check out whatever this would be a really good use for whenever i'm disking in my food plots and all that's where i'll really like having the camera to make for sure that my discs are overlapping the other rows i'm turning the ground up properly things like that all right so another good thing about this say if i'm mowing up next to a fence or trees like this now i can click this camera on Turn my mower on and watch how I'm mowing. Make sure I'm not running over my trees or snagging up on the fence. See how close I'm getting. And I can watch this entire time without turning my head around, getting all cramped up. So yeah, that's actually really nice to be able to see how close I'm getting to things with the mower. That's something I didn't even think about with this camera system. So occasionally I'll have pins come out and you can lose a wheel on a mower like this, especially with all the holes that the animals have dug in this field. So it's nice bit to take a look back at your equipment, see if you see any bearings smoking, any issues, any belts that have uh, busted. Make sure your wheels are there. <laughs> All right, so the camera that I've got mounted all the way up here, I've got it there because it's high as I could go and it not get tore off by limbs that come over the top sometimes. By the way, I can also tilt that antenna down because I'm so close to the monitor again, it won't be a problem. I think I will do that so limbs or nothing catches it. By the way, there is an air filter in there. Some people are gonna ask about that. There is that much clearance between the air filter and the outside plastic and I use very short screws that did not go into anything. I verified all that. But the reason I was really excited to get a second camera all the way up there is for this right here. So this is my fertilizer spreader. You can spread seed with this fertilizer and I'll usually fill it all the way up to the top. So whenever I'm sitting in the cab and this is hooked up to these three point arms, you gotta understand it's all the way up here whenever I lift it up. So you can get the spinner that's on the bottom right here. You want that up as high as you can so it broadcasts out further. If you had it low to the ground, it just throws seed to the ground that sits. So I lift it as high as it can go to get a good fan pattern putting out fertilizer and seed. Problem is whenever the hopper is up this high, I can see how much is in it until it's about half full. And then I have to get off the seat to the point the tractor wants to quit driving because it thinks I fell off. And I still can't even see all the way down to the bottom of the hopper unless I lower it all the way down. Well, that's inconvenient, not something you're wanting to do while you're moving and trying to put out nice even distribution of seed and fertilizer. So now that camera is up so high that it should be able to look down into the bottom of this hopper right here and let me know how much fertilizer and how much seed that I have left. So I can know if I need to make another pass, come back and fill up, speed up, slow down. That's really important information. So overall, I think this is awesome. I love it. I don't have a clue how the footage looks that you record. I've still got to go back and look at all that. Obviously, I've already included that in the video, but I can tell you looking at the screen, plenty clear enough for me inside to see what's going on. And by far the biggest reason I wanted that and what I'm going to fall in love with it for is these tractor forks right here. So hopefully this showed y'all that there is other means of everyday items that we use like backup cameras. Everybody thinks put one on the rear of your truck and that's what they're for. They can be used for so many other awesome things like this. But yeah, they, they do work very well for backing up as well. I would love to have one of these on the backside of my truck. Actually, if you could get extra wiring harnesses, I need to see if they offer them. It would be awesome on the backsides of trailers, for example, trucks to already have a pre-wired plug-in to where you could disconnect it, move a camera. There's lots of different options you can do. The screen itself comes with a cigarette lighter plug, although I hardwired mine in here because that's where I want it to stay. But you could get creative and make this stuff portable as well, especially if you want to put it on 
different pieces of farm equipment as you used it, for example. Now, as awesome as this system is, this wouldn't be an honest review if I didn't mention a couple of things that bother me just a little. So one thing I was a little disappointed with was the mounts. The camera comes with this mount with the rubber on the back so it can hook to a rear view mirror. That's a nice touch. You can put this on a rear view mirror of your vehicle and it comes with a glass suction cup mount. That is gonna cover the majority of people. However, if you look in the manual, it shows all different kinds of mounts that I thought that it was gonna come with so I could screw it down to the top plastic piece or mount it in other ways. And I understand they offer so many different mounts. I understand that maybe they did not wanna include them all because the price of the kit would have to go up. Me personally, I'd rather pay a few extra dollars for the kit and get all the extra mounts that are available, but that's just my personal preference. But they do offer far more mounting options than this. Just check the website out. The last gripe that I have right here on the side is where you put your SD card. You have to take a actual screw out and you almost need to remove it from the bracket. You can kind of get the cover out of the way without removing it out of this holder, uh, but it's a little bit in the way. So if you're going to be taking your SD cards out constantly, that's going to be a little bit of a pain. But the majority of people are going to leave an SD card in, especially if they're using it for recording traffic accidents. And you can turn that overwrite feature on and as your SD card fills up, it'll erase it and start recording again and the only time you're going to need to pull that card out is well whenever you had an actual accident so that's not going to happen very often but if you're planning on buying one of these and constantly taking the card in and out just know that you have to take a small screw out i would love to just see a little flip door right there so the big question is how well is this stuff going to hold up only time will tell i'm very honest on my reviews i got paid nothing to make this review i just got sent a product to test and i could leave a good or bad review that's the way these things work so if you're watching this months down the road and want to know how they're holding up did any water get in them do i have it have i had any issues drop a comment down there i will always be honest and give you my feedback on that all right, well, hopefully y'all enjoyed that episode. It is burning up. I'm about to go get in some AC and edit this video for y'all. I really enjoyed this little project right here. It's something I've been wanting to do for years, and I am so stinking happy that I have it done now, especially for those tractor forks on the front. Thank y'all for watching. Catch you on the next video.